Hello everyone, in this video we learn how to build tables in LaTeX. This is my working directory and first of all I want to show you the PDF that we are going to produce. Ok, so first of all we are going to make this simple table. Then we are going to work with tables with long titles. And as you can see the, this table number 2 we have in the third column and the fourth column we have long titles and doesn't look uh, great so in table 3 we are going to fix as you can see we are going to fit, fix the width of these columns but in this uh, column 3 we have the text left aligned in column 4 we are going to align uh, the text in the center for for the third the second third fourth and fifth column Next example here, we are going to work with the multi column table. And as you can see, this text here uh, covers uh, four columns, and the same is for this one. Next, we work with the long tables. So we have this uh, table that spans over three pages. Last example is again with a long table, but here what we do is we add a note here, a note here, and we add this source others calculation at the end. So this is what we are going uh, to do. And by the way, we we set uh, labels to refer here. Okay. Let's build it. This is the the setting for the file, the PDF that you have just seen. This setting is the same that I used in the in the previous videos, and you find this code in the description of the first video of this playlist. What is new is this part here because these are the packages that we are going to use for uh, make the tables okay so we have array multi row long table three part, three part table x and book tabs so we have just put some random test here and this is the first table okay we have already seen how to write a, a table but let's view again we start with begin table for the environment. And when we have a begin, we have always an end. So begin table and table. And as you can see, this automatically is set by, uh, by TechMaker. Then let's center the table. Add a title. and set the label. Now the real table begin. And in this case, we need tabular. In this space here, we decide the number of columns and the alignment of the text. When we decide the number of columns, we write here the table. So the first entry, so you have to think it's first row, first column, we write the text and then this end here to separate the first column from the second column. Here we separate the second column from the third and so on. When we, we end, we need double backslash to start a new row. And again here, start a new row. And so on. And basically, this is the structure of this table. Here, this table has five columns. The first column in the text is left aligned here. Then we have this vertical bar. This is to draw a vertical line to separate the first column from the other columns. And then we have 
four columns with the text centered. Each line is to draw an horizontal line. This is the first, uh, the first row that becomes our column title. Then we have each line, so in the second row. Uh, before the second before the second row and here we have the the other rows uh, basically we don't decide how many uh, rows we need we just continue to add and then we end here each line each line so we'll have two uh, horizontal lines here but let's run this let's run this document so we can see the code and here we can see the output okay and we have an error the error is the one that i told you last time see i can write on file latex table because it's open yeah we have to close and now we can run it again and as you can see this is the document and it's a little bit and uh, not very nice for example we have this question mark and this happens this means that we have just to run another time we have to make latex to fix it just run a second time and as you can see we fix the the references so this, this is the first table. Let me enlarge here a bit. And this is the code and the output. So as I said, we have the first horizontal line, second horizontal line. So first horizontal line, second horizontal line, this vertical line, this is decided by this vertical bar here. This is the text. Okay. Let me close the method. Now let's move to the second example here. As I showed you before, we have this table with these long titles and it's not nice, so we have to adjust it. Basically, here, this is the same table as before. I just changed here the, the column title. And what I did also is to add this H exclamation mark. This is to fix the, the table in the document. I did for this, also for this, for this table here, because I want to show you this uh, three table, one above the other, so you can see the difference. But I don't suggest you to use this H exclamation mark. Above all, if you are working with the long document, it's better that LaTeX optimize by itself where to locate the table or the figures in the document, okay? So what I'm going to do here to control for the weight is that instead of using this LCCC, I'm going to use P, curly brackets, and a unit of measures. This vertical bar, vertical bar here, is just that we are defined here the structure. Okay, and here I said two centimeter, one centimeter, one cent, two centimeter, two point five centimeters for this. But as I said before, now all the test, as you can see, is left aligned, and I don't like it because I want the text uh, in these four columns here to be centered. So what we have to do, and again, these are the same tables. We are just in changing here this part here. Next, what we have to do is to write this code. But don't worry, we don't write it manually. Let me show you. Here. We go on this tab here. Quick tabular. We say it five columns. Column one, we want left. Okay. Then column two. We want center it with, with our width. And we do the same for the third. Now 
Now, if we know how many columns, yeah, we can just decide the number of rows. Okay. And as you can see, we have our table. We have just to fulfill the table. Okay. Next. A multi column table. Okay, this is our table. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. In the first one, we have left a line, this L, then we have a vertical bar, this vertical line, we have four columns, four columns, vertical line, four columns, and as you can see, we don't have a vertical line here. And here we don't have a vertical line. But here we have this firm ABC and firm XYZ. Now you have to think that we have nine columns. So to set this uh, multi column, we have just basically make a sum. This first space corresponds to the first column. Basically, we are here. This end here, and then multi column. One, two, three, four, multi column four, centered, vertical bar, is centered, vertical bar. Then we have other four columns because we have always to, to fill all the column space. So we set this end again, multi column four, because one, two, three, four, C, centered, and then the name that we want to set. In this case, is firm XYZ, firm XYZ. Then we have to start a new line. So double backslash new line. This is again here. We don't have nothing written. So we leave a blank. This end. And then here 95, 2000, 2000, fine, and so on until the end where we have backslash here. We have an horizontal line. And then for the first row, I put the first row in bold here. This is backslash text BF, but if you are on a Windows, just select the test and control B. And that's it. Okay. And then here, as you can see, I put this text, uh, I put a little bit of space. This space is uh, backslash quote. This is basically space that is in math. If we go here, math. We have a math spaces. This is small, medium, large, quote, and backslash Q quote. And the same is, uh, the rest is the same. Okay. So let's move now to the next example, long tables. Now it's, it's different. We use an, another package to do, build this table here. Uh, first of all, I really made a big, Table. So the first things that I did is to nest the code in this begin script size to control for the font. So I reduce the font of this table. And again, when we have a begin, you can see here. We have an end. And to put in the center, begin center. And then we write the code. Begin long table. And again, we have nine columns. Caption and the label. And now the code is completely different. First of all, we have to define our table. So we have to define here at the top. Then we have to define what needs to be printed on the next page here. And then we have to define how the uh, the table ends. Okay. So let's see here. Top rule here we have here. Now multi column is the same as before. We have nine columns, so the first one correspond here. This space correspond to this space here. We have ninety five and two thousand eight. Again, we have four column here, four column here, and this is the same. I'm just changing this part here. 
but it, the, the code is, is the same. Okay, then we use this uh, central mid rule, C mid rule, 2 5. Why 2 5? Because second column, third, fourth, five. Then 6 9, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then again we start the, the new the new row here this one is this blank space here and then we have all the column titles here then mid rule and first add so we have defined this now we need to decide how the table is printed on the next page when the table continues on the next page so multi column nine again why nine because we have nine columns okay c for center it and here this is the uh, the text continue from previous page text it is italics and again if you want to put italics control i okay and then the table name the table to have this table six here. Uh, then this top rule, mid rule, I just copy, I just copy it for this one. And then end head. So we have defined the head of the tables. We have to define the bottom, so bottom rule. Multi column nine, write text it continue on the on next page. Continue on next page here. And the foot, bottom rule, and the last foot. So we have define all. Okay. Now that we have defined all the table, we have just to put the data. And this is the same as before. Nothing nothing special, we just Build the, the table. Last example. Yeah. This is again a long table, but we added a note here, a note here, and then the source. For this, we need the three part table X package. So we begin three part table. Again, there is a begin and there is an end, as you can see from this. Then we have begin table notes. And this begin table notes starts here and ends here. Item square brackets A, we write the note. Item B, we write another note. Then double uh, backslash. And here in this case, I just put source orders calculation. And here, the the long table starts, and this is the same as before, just the code is, uh, uh, is a little bit less complicated. But what we have to do is we have to decide where to place the note. We do with insert table notes. With this insert table notes, we, uh, we decide where to place uh, this note here, where, where they will be printed. In this case, bottom roll before and the last foot. Basically, it's here. Okay, naturally, this is long table, but we can use also for a short table. For example, let's remove the line here. Let's run again. And as you see, this is just a table that is just in one page. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. Uh, I hope that's useful. In the next video, we are going to cover uh, all the math in, uh, in LaTeX. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.